I think Alfred should be coming back soon. I hope everything went well on his date with Alfreda. They were only going to take a walk by the lake. What could go wrong there? You know that Alfred gets really nervous when he sees Alfreda. He could accidentally push her into the water. <laughs> Imagine how funny that would be. Hi, Alfred. How was your date? It was awesome and awful at the same time. Why is that? What happened? We were walking by the lake, looking at the fish and the trees and everything, when she asked me to go on a second date. Well, that's great, isn't it? Well, yes, it is, but the problem is that she wants to go dancing. Even better! It'll be a dancing date. Well, yes, but I don't know how to dance. I told her that I couldn't go dancing with her, and she got very upset. Why'd you tell her that, Alfred? You need to go back right now and tell her you'd love to go dancing with her. But I don't know how to dance. How do you expect me to go to a dance without knowing how? Don't worry about that, Alfred. I'm a top-notch dancer. I had no idea. How long have you known how to dance, Olga? There are many things about me, Milo, that you don't know. Take a good look. thought you could dance so well. You're incredible, Olga. Do you think you can teach me in two hours? In only two hours? Well, we'd better hurry then. I've been practicing for five years, but I'll show you the most basic steps so that you'll look like a great dancer. I want to dance with you too. Yes, of course, Milo, but step aside. What's important is that Alfred learns now. Alfred, do you know what kind of music they're going to play tonight? Well, I don't know. Is that important? Uh huh. It's the most important thing. I could show you a classic dance step, but if they play jazz or pop, it'll never work. So what should we do? Where will you be going tonight? She told me there's an orchestra from out of town that's going to play. Well, if it's an orchestra from out of town, I'm sure they'll be playing the usual popular songs. So I'll just show you a few steps for pop music. But more importantly, whatever they play, you just dance these steps. And what should I do, Olga? You just try and imitate what I show Alfred. That is, if you can, all right? To start, I'll show you the first four consecutive steps so you can see how it's done. Then I'll show mm -hmm. them to you <laughs> one by one. They seem complicated, but I'll try to do them as best I can. It's real simple. Step one. Step two, step three, and step four. Now you try to do it. Very good, Alfred. Those are very basic steps, but it's a start. Now try and do the following four steps. I don't want to interrupt or anything like that, but wouldn't it be better to do these steps to music? First, I want you to learn a few of the steps, and then I'll show them to you with music. Understood, Professor. Now we're going to see them one by one. Step number five, step six, step seven, and eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I think I've got it now. Now try to do the eight steps together, one after the other. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Yay, Very Alfred. Good, Alfred! Don't stop and do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now you, Milo, follow us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's incredible! Now I know how to dance too! Look, Olga! One, two, three, oh, four, oh. five, six, seven, eight! 
See? And I could do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's awesome. Oh, very good. Now you've both learned your very first dance steps, and now it's time for some music. Alfred, with these steps, you can dance to almost anything. They're very simple, and at least you won't look ridiculous. What's up? Is there a party that no one told us about? Come on and join the group, you two. We're teaching some dance steps for the date that Alfred has tonight. Do you think you can follow the rhythm, too? Of course, this is real simple. I think this dancing thing suits me just fine. Now watch me do it. I do it much better than all of you. That's nothing. I know I'm the best. Woohoo! Uh, uh, ah. going in such a rush, Turtle? Oh, nowhere in particular. It's just that I always move around at this speed. Yeah, of course. What's the matter? Because you're so slow, you can't imagine the rest of us are able to move around so quickly? Excuse me, I go slowly because I'm in no rush, but I could move a whole lot faster if I wanted to. Oh yeah? I sure would like to see that someday. Don't be leaving so quickly because you and I aren't done yet. We need to decide which of us is fastest. That makes no sense at all. It's obvious that I'm the fastest. Nobody has ever seen a snail beat a turtle. Hello, friends. What are you talking about? This conceited turtle thinks that she's faster than me. I don't want to make matters worse, but turtles are usually faster than snails are. That's true, but it so happens that I am a very fast snail. Why don't you just quit the bragging and show us already? All right, look at how fast I move. Wow! It looks like you really are fast. Oh, that's nothing. Watch me. Wow, you're really fast too. Yes, but I can go even faster. You know what I suggest? Why don't you two have a race, and it'll decide which one of you is the fastest? That's fine with me. Today will not be your lucky day. You're going to see what it means to lose, my dear Miss Turtle. <laughs> my dear friends, the rules are simple. You must go one lap around the sandbox, and the one who gets back first will be the champion. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready, but I have to do something first. Do what? I have to go to the bathroom. You have to go now? Uh-huh. Well, that's not a problem. Just behind that rock, you'll find one. I'll be right back. What's wrong with that turtle? Why is she leaving now, right before the race? I think she's pulling out of the race. I don't think she's doing that. She probably has to mentally prepare. Maybe she's just scared and doesn't want to compete against the snail. She's clearly afraid. Everybody take your position. Get ready. Get set. Go! Let's go, friends. May the best one win. Come on, you can do it. Faster, you can go faster. I guess you're ready to lose. I'm sorry, but you're the one who's going to lose. I seriously doubt it. I thought this race would be more exciting. You must understand that these are two of the slowest animals in the world. Yeah, but I thought there'd be a little more competition, tension, nerves. Yeah, like the day that we created our own Olympics. Yes, I remember. I won by my ear. That's not true, Moo. You won by an ear, which is not the same thing at all. That sure was a really exciting race. How much longer till this race is over? Calculating their speed, which is then divided by the actual distance multiplied by the wind factor, 
they have at least another two hours and a half before they finish the race. Oh, great. We're going to waste the entire afternoon watching these hot rods. They're going so slow that we'll be here till tomorrow. I'm very sorry, but I don't have time for such nonsense. I'm leaving. Well, hold on, Rita. I'll go with you. Yes, I'm going to go as well. To, um, to do homework. <sighs> Cheer up, friends. You're almost halfway there. Those two, they can't take it anymore. I'm just going to sit down here because I'm tired of watching them. At this rate, they won't even be done by tomorrow. Boy, we are slow. We still have more than halfway to go, and I'm hungry. I'm not saying that I want to stop, but if you like, we could finish this race later. So then who won? Well, I'd say we both won. That works for me. Now let's both eat something. I'll invite you to my house. Thank you. I'd be delighted. <laughs> 